Let us essay. This is High Priestess Ashodara Singh. Welcome number 6 for those of you born on the 6th, the 15th, the 24th. Do the math and if the birth date adds up to number 6, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards, three oracular cards from three different decks. You have Lord Shiva's deck, the Monology deck and the Dragon Oracle deck. You have four weeks in a month and these are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Wiccan Tarot, Smith Waite, the Celtic Dragon Tarot and the Dragon Tarot. Right, let's begin this journey with our dragons and let's see what the central theme has in store for you. Number six, you've pulled out the goddess Sati, which speaks about emotional control. The full moon, if you remember, it's on the 24th of this month, speaks about surrendering to the divine. I'll come to the explanation later, okay? And the card of companions from the dragon deck. All right, let's take the first one of Lord Shiva. It speaks about emotional control. So you are to act practically instead of being emotional to handle the situation and well-being of people around you. I have had this talk with many of you and I've chatted with many of you and I've also spoken online about it. Remember, when it comes to take, taking decisions, it's always, always advisable to use logic instead of emotions. Sometimes handling people also requires the same kind of mental makeup, right? So emotions can cloud judgment because of that um, you may be you may be making a mistake and that error is a price that you will pay later uh, not at the moment but then regret will be the name of the game i hope i'm clear so please remember this and if this card has come as your central theme number six remind yourself about this a thousand times every day okay regret is not a game you want to play all right the full moon speaks about surrendering to the divine the divine in this context also means the universe the higher power Ascended Masters, Dragons, Angels, um, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, whoever you believe in. Uh, but when I say surrender to the Divine, it doesn't mean, you know, uh, say that whatever happens, um, you know, I I'll let the Universe decide for me. No, you take the decision and trust the Universe to show you the way. So you be proactive with your life, you create your destiny and make the un and make your, your uh, mental, visual, so um, strong and clear and full of direction that the universe creates opportunities for you to continue to walk that path successfully right so be proactive and say the universe has my back and that's it don't doubt the process focus on it companions you are going to be um, you are going to have to be careful of the people around you i don't mean it in a bad way but i mean you will have the chance to make a lot of friends. You will befriend people um, or you will have people who will follow the journey that you have undertaken, uh, personal or professional or both. And you will, you will heal. Some of you are going to heal, some of you are going to grow and some of you are going to learn. Which bracket do you fall in depends on the life path that you've taken, right? It's as simple as that the first week of February 2024 number six you've pulled out the four of coins or the four of pentacles the eight of cups the wheel card and the strength card two out of four major arcana cards which says you have received the blessings of the angels by default let's begin with the four of coins or the four of pentacles this card means don't go by the gender you could be a female also this card means that you are going to have to deal with issues relating to property uh, land buying selling uh, renting leasing refurnishing refurbishing etc or even taxes but there is definitely something to do with a place that you own could or could it can be a residence or it can be a place that you own this card also implies that when it comes to money in this month number six you're going to be a little tight-fisted it is good to be frugal as per the rules of blue magic or money magic as you all know by now but it is not good to be a overspender or a miser so remind yourself of that whatever you want to get don't get it because you have to have it i hear a lot of people saying it i have to have it and i always end up telling them you may want it but it is not that you need it so remind yourself of the utility of the product when you want to use your purchasing power 
The Eight of Cups tells me that you might be planning a trip by the water. This card also means that something that was of interest to you earlier has become disinteresting and you're walking away from it. This could be a person, a concept, an idea, a place, uh, you know, um, anything that you were working towards, a goal. If it is something that you're moving away from, there's no need to beat yourself up on it. We all grow over time and maybe you've just grown out of it. It's possible, okay? Nothing to feel bad about. The wheel card or the wheel of fortune card that we say, um, this is a beautiful card and we use, a, we use it a lot in spell casting. This card says that uh, the planet Jupiter, the planet gods of Jupiter, the planet Brihaspati in Hindi <coughs> has brought this card to you saying luck and finance is yours in the first week. So anything that you want to do in terms of finance in your life, the first week of Feb is the right time to do so. Good. And of course, uh, dark shades of blue will suit you. The strength card is here to say that you could be a Leo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to tame your inner lion. This means that you need to be more tolerant of people and less judgmental of them. Remind yourself that by being patient with others, you are displaying a high level of emotional maturity. And remember that tomorrow what goes around does come, come around. The second week of Feb 2024. Number six, you've pulled out the tower card. The eight of coins or the eight of pentacles. The knight of wands and the page of cups. <coughs> so, um, what was of interest, um, um, what, what is of interest in this card is quite simple really. This card does come across as something horrible. But something that you were expecting to end will end quicker than what you expected it to right so you had an idea about it but you weren't expecting it to finish so soon could be a project a job a relationship something like that okay um saved up money now instead of panicking and then letting that bring your vibe down you tell yourself this is the best thing that's happened for you and you the challenge is now to make it work in your favor to your advantage and i promise you you will come out of it uh, like a diamond okay page of cups is here to say that you have a you will get attracted to people with youthful energy you are going to be very um you know you admire people with a sense of humor you could use a little color in your life for sure i may or may not participate of course but the energy that you are attracted to is youthful in nature you will be receiving or giving out an emotional message if you are giving out an emotional message please ensure that it is not something similar to gaslighting you can google it and you'll understand what it is don't use emotions as a way to control people and of course the same up applies in case you are receiving a message all right knight of wands is here to say that you uh, you have a creative solution that's coming your way apparently it's already in the process of uh, reaching your doorstep and uh, this seems to be what you've been waiting for for a while uh, so as to keep the momentum on keep your vibes high keep your chin up and stay positive eight of coins eight of pentacles tells me that uh, your skill set whether you're a business person or a professional is being finally taken notice of by the right kind of people and you might be receiving an offer soon it's a good card the third week of uh, Feb 2024, number six, you pulled out the Judgment card, the Empress card, the Strength card and the Hermit card. Wow, blessings of the angels indeed. But having said that, we already have done the Strength card. So, right. Ah, let me show you. I just did it. Yeah. Since it's come twice, <coughs> looks like... Looks like you need to be less opinionated about other people and less, less judgmental about them. Don't assume things about people uh, if you are not clear, unless and until it's been told on your face. Also, I believe if someone has had a bad experience with a person, uh, it's not necessary that you will also have a similar experience. People change, right? Um, so try and be patient. This is your test number six. You have to be patient with people. Right, the Hermit card tells me that you are... Oh, you could be a Virgo or you could be dealing with a Virgo. 
Uh, this card also means that you need to self-introspect, you need to look inside yourself, you need to figure out why is it uh, that you are feeling the way you are. Are you in the station in life that you want it to be? Have you achieved what you have, what you had set out to earlier? Um, is there any change in plans? Is there a requirement to change in plan? Right, where are you for? Look within is what this card means. Don't look outside. What is outside is just a mirror of what is inside. The Empress card tells me that the solution to the problem that you're seeking is doubtful at the moment and it could be because of no clarity. You need to have a reading done for sure. This card also says that you are, uh, you have ma uh, feminine energy, the yang energy, the passive energy and uh, there's a lot of abundant energy also, pregnant with ideas, pregnant with creative solutions. So uh, match this vibe. And if you don't match this by, of course, you can have a white switch done by us during the weekend. The judgment card is a pure karmic card. So it looks like you need to have your karmic baggage checked. Just wanted to clarify. Normally when a judgment card or a karma card comes, what I get to hear is, but I'm nice to everybody. Hey, that's not how it works. If you're nice to everybody, that's your choice. Some questions are a little more um, intimate. Are you nice to yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? That's also karmically wrong if you don't. If you're being hard on yourself, then your karmic baggage is going to increase. If you are doing things, keeping it in mind that you don't want your karmic baggage to increase, that is also karmic baggage increase. You understand? So don't say, oh, I'll be nice to this person because I want my karma to be good for today. You know, I've done my nice thing for today. What? I helped a person cross the road. Dude, tomorrow you will be standing at the end, at one side of the road and you may not have the ability for whatever reason to cross the road. Then, right? So please remind yourself there are many, many ways of avoiding karmic baggage, but sometimes it just happens by default. For example, if you're the boss of a company and uh, you have to, um, you know, ask a few people to leave because the management has decided it and you are the one who has to sack them. So it's not your fault, but if you want to keep your job, you have to do it. Is it calming baggage for the boss? Yes. Is it wrong? I don't make the rules of the universe. That's the way I'd like to leave it. Yeah. So remember that. Have your calming baggage checked and please have it released. Remember, our dragon spells are done uh, yearly. So calming baggage release is always uh, valid for one year. And the last week of 2024, February number six, you pulled out the Ace of Wands. The Five of Wands, the Tower card is here again, and the Three of Wands. Creative, yes, that's the last week for you, but the Tower card is here again. So, well, uh, you are definitely going to uh, feel the heat in this month in the sense of there is something that's going to come to an end, but even if people around you are falling like flies, you are the one who has to put your foot down and say i'm going to i'm going to come out of this i'm going to ride this wave remember it's all about self positive talk okay it works it really works um so ace three and five nice uses a lot in spell casting ace of wands is here to say that the solution that you're looking for lies within magic you need to figure out uh what kind of magic you wish to use if you are going to use good magic then well we are one of the people practicing that but if you want to use other means of magic i don't think you should not should be uh, blind to the idea that the repercussions are immense dark and fierce right so remember that three of wands is here to say that you might be planning a trip for the water this card also means that you have a lot of options you've already zeroed in on one but still you're not being able to take a decision or make a movement towards your semi-decided status. You need to take a decision before the universe takes it for you, right? So remind yourself of that, please. And the five of wands looks like it's the stand that you've taken, the choice that you've made is not going down well with the people who you expected support from. This is something that is bothering you. Learn to be okay with it. You don't have to please and appease everybody. If this is something that you believe in, if you have the whole blueprint out and you're confident about it, then please go ahead and walk your path. Interesting spread. You don't disappoint me. Number six, I will see you in the 
month of March. Until then, take care of yourselves. Love, light and knowledge to you all. Be at this essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.